Good morning everyone from someone who was looking rather different to how I looked when I first started that time lapse and started getting myself ready this morning. I feel like the glow up from when you're like first starting to get yourself ready to the end of it is always just transformational. Although I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, I feel like this robe is washing me out so so much i really need to get dressed into proper clothes this is one of the many robes that i was talking about in the last vlog yesterday with you guys yesterday for me last vlog for you um this is one of my many robes i love this robe for getting ready because it's not too hot not too kind of like thin and flimsy it's just like a really nice one whenever i'm getting myself ready despite the fact that it does wash me out but after doing my big beauty clear out yesterday it kind of inspired me to do a little bit of a reshuffle in my own beauty bag as well this is my everyday makeup Bag, which I know I've spoken about many many a time I absolutely adore these this is a Lily and Bean makeup bag and I obviously have mine personalized with the em monograms on there which i really really love i think these make such great gifts i think they make such great presents and i really really love how sturdy it is i've had this for ages and before getting this i always had my eye on a louis vuitton one and actually ever since getting this maybe over a year ago maybe even two years ago i haven't looked twice at the louis ones because i just feel like this is exactly what i need it just i got a little flicky bit of hair no that's the bench behind me i thought i had missed a bit of hair from straightening this morning um but yes this completely replaced the louis one for me and obviously at a fraction of the price if you're looking for like a really good quality vanity case i'll leave these linked down below but i thought i would have a little bit of a clear out of what was in there just so that i'm making sure that i'm using products that like i absolutely adore and that are you know really serving me they really are my everyday makeup bits i thought i would go through some of them with you because i have had a bit of a switch up with some of them um current favorite moisturizer at the moment my current favorite tinted moisturizer is this laura mercier one one thing i love about it is that it's got spf in it now i actually do a bit of a bit of a unique thing where i'll mix two products together i know i've spoken about this millions of times it's the bobby brown vitamin enriched skin tint the only thing i do find with these ones is that the ones that are more like serums or are more like kind of really oily like not even oily i'd say they're like really watery kind of like tint moisturizers i do find that they don't they don't Im embed themselves into your skin if that makes sense like i feel like i need something with a little bit more tact that kind of sticks to my skin it almost feels like they're like sitting on top of my skin and i need something with almost a little bit more kind of substance to like absorb so i have been mixing these two products together and this is giving me like the perfect base i am loving my makeup at the moment and loving my base so i'm mixing these two together the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base um or vitamin enriched skin tint sorry and laura mercier tinted moisturizer both of these have an spf in them but this one only has 15 this one has 30 which means we only have 30 they don't add up together i know a lot of people get confused at that they're like oh you've got 45 on your face no no 
SPF 30, um, which is great because in the winter time, and especially now, I do not remember to put SPF on my face. I don't remember, it's like an extra step. So the fact that it's in my skincare just kind of like takes that hassle away from me. So those are the two bases that I am loving at the moment. I am also loving in terms of my bronzer, my hourglass, the ambient light palette, which is just, is it the ambient light? I always assume it is. Yes, ambient light palette. You can tell how well used this is because that's almost completely rubbed off of the back. But you've got the three shades here and I really love actually using all three of them. You can kind of tell which one is probably my most used in the middle, but I do love both of these on the edge. And I kind of use a bit of a technique where basically I go and with the dark one first and almost create a bit of like a line it's almost like I've created that kind of initial sketch on my face I'll then go in with the middle one and buff it out and I actually saw someone recently it was on TikTok and I think he'd like title the video this is why influencer makeup doesn't look good on the average person and he was basically talking about the do's and don'ts of makeup and things that maybe like influencers or like what looks good on camera and why they do their makeup like that for like beauty youtubers and things like that and why actually in real life it doesn't always look good um and he was just talking about different ways to like do your concealer and do your blush and your bronze and things like that and one thing that he did that i have not stopped doing since and if you've noticed a difference in my makeup this has been the, the biggest difference for me where basically i'll do a little bit of a nose contour and i'll bring it up my brow bone he suggests it in the video and i gave it a try and i have not looked back since so i've got this teeny tiny little brush from real techniques i think it is a Yes, it's a contour brush specifically. And I literally just do a little bit on my nose and then I'll bring it up to my brow bone. If I'm feeling lazy, I'll cover my whole lid in the bronzer. You know I love doing that because I feel like it's such an easy way to pull your makeup look in together and then you don't have to get out like different palettes and different eyeshadows and things like that. But I would just take this middle color, a little bit of nose kind of bronzing, a little bit of nose contour. I don't really do much contouring with my nose and never have done up until this point, but just a little bit on my nose, bring it up my brow, game changer absolute game changer so i'm loving that technique at the moment um and then the blush that i am loving the giorgio armani one that i unboxed with you guys in the wedding event vlog that i had a couple of weeks ago oh my gosh i absolutely love it it's like such a perfect pearly pink and if i'm feeling a bit more of like a pinky makeup like when i was doing the galentine's brunch and things like that and i was feeling a little bit more of a pinky vibe i actually use this as an eyeshadow as well so loving that um and then mascara wise i'm loving the lancome idole for a bit of a everyday mascara and lip wise it is going to be no surprise the bobby brown are these the hydro lip tints extra lip tints in the shade this is bare raspberry and it really is the perfect kind of raspberry color i love it because it's just who look like there is barely any color payoff but you just get a really lovely like flush of color on your lips and it just looks so natural it's really moisturizing as well and my absolute favorites that's my kind of like everyday makeup that i've just like whittled down in my makeup bag to make sure that i really am keeping things in there that are everyday products that i am absolutely loving and that are really working hard in my makeup bag i always talk about things working hard whether that's your bags your clothes your makeup i want these things to be working hard in my makeup bag so i'm very fed up of looking this washed out in this gray robe right now so let's get ourselves dressed and then we can chat about plans for the day right dressed and ready for the day now i feel like my hair is still so big from straightening it obviously i did my usual ghd straighteners after washing it this morning and i feel like that first hour of having my hair done, it has always just got so much volume. By the end of the day, this will be completely flat. I hope I'm not the only one whose hair is like this, where when you first style it, the volume is just like voluming. But I've just put on a really cute and little cozy dress set. I'm wearing my little new look favorite dress. I was wearing this the other day when I hosted it, the Galentine's Brunch, and it kind of reignited my love for this dress. I really am the epitome of an outfit repeater. When I like something, I like something. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. But plan of action for today. I actually have a really fun day ahead of me. I am going to be heading into Southampton West Key to do a little bit of shopping. I feel like wedding prep is well and truly underway for G's wedding. It is this year and as you know I made of honor and the one thing that we haven't sorted out yet, the one thing we haven't got is our shoes. And I feel like wedding shoes is a really important part of the wedding because you want them to be beautiful but you want them to be comfortable and obviously you have to get your shoes before you can alter your dresses. I know I've spoken about my made of honor dress which I'm obsessed with but it does need altered because you girl is only five foot. So no normal fitting dress 
ever fits me in length I always need to get them altered so we're gonna go and get those altered once we've chosen our shoes so we're heading into West Key today to do a little bit of shoe shopping and I'm so excited I feel like it's been such a long time since I've done like a dedicated shoe shop I love a shoe shop it's so much fun and they've obviously got so many amazing stores in West Key I know I talk about it a lot but if you're ever in and around the Hampshire area Southampton West Key is one of the best shopping centers in my opinion as someone who grew up in Southampton as a kid I didn't quite appreciate what a good shopping center it was and it wasn't until I moved away from Southampton you know I've lived around the UK quite a lot moved up to Derby for university moved to West London that I realized how rubbish so many shopping centers are around the rest of the UK I think it's because obviously Southampton is a port it's where the cruise ships come in so a lot of people at the weekends come off the cruise ships maybe do a bit of shopping or like before they go away on their holidays they have so many amazing stores in terms of shoe shops we're going to probably do flannels which is one of the biggest ones john lewis should have lots of amazing shoes it's like russell and bromley shoe office sketches although i don't think they'll really do wedding shoes what are the ones that they got june do they have a june now pretty sure they have a June. They have lots of great shoe shops basically so we're going to head into West Key and have a bit of a girly shopping day. Honestly it's just been my favourite thing doing all of like the wedding prep and just having these like girly wedding days with Lady C and G. It is my absolute favourite. So I've got a dress on just because I know obviously if I'm going to be styling up kind of like wedding shoes I want to have like my legs free and see what it would look like with a dress rather than like having to hike up a pair of trousers every time I try something on. So I've just got the comfiest little dress. I always feel like a jumper dress is the easiest thing whenever it comes to a shopping day. So let me show you my full outfit. Oh, let's do some perfume. I know we did my full perfume collection the other day in yesterday's vlog, Pomegranate Noir, I think is what I'm going to go for today. Oh, actually do I want, no, I've done Scarlet Poppy quite a lot recently. I do love Pomegranate Noir such a beautiful one i'm someone that literally i love to dose myself in my perfume so perfume of the day pomegranate noir and then let me show you my full outfit for a girly shopping day public service announcement it is officially trench coat weather and i could not be happier i feel like it's been such a long time since i have brought this baby out this feels like quite a monumentous moment you always know that spring is on its way when the trench coat starts coming out obviously i'm wearing my burberry trench which i absolutely adore i would always recommend if you're on the hunt for a burberry trench looking at getting it secondhand or in the sales places like bista farfetch netta porte they'll be the few places that will ever discount Burberry trenches because they're such a classic trench coat like such a classic number that it's very very rare to get it discounted but I love my trench I've had it for about six years now and it is still going strong so I've got my trench coat over the top of the new look dress and then shoe wise I'm going for my Holland Cooper slip-ons because as I said shoe shopping and we're going to be shopping for heels so we want to have our feet ready basically and waiting for the shoes I've got my little Holland Cooper mules on which I absolutely love I know I spoke about these recently because they discounted them in the black croc I believe but I love these brown ones I will leave them linked down below they're like the perfect tan and especially perfect paired with my little Mulberry Alexa my absolute fave you know she is my ride or die and especially for like a girly shopping trip if I just want to wear something crossbody she is all I ever want to reach for so that is my outfit of the day I think I can hear Lady C pulling up on the drive so I'm gonna get going get into the girl's car we can have a lovely girly shopping day I'm so excited about this you know how much I adore rainbow club especially when it comes to bridal shoes um so if ever you wanted to try some on in store they do have them at John Lewis I'm kind of obsessed with this pink pair this is gorgeous I love the fuchsia pink. Obviously, the classic white is stunning. We've got some little strappy ones over here. These are beautiful. I feel like they're just such a classic pair, but they do do loads of different colours as well. You can choose the colours up here, which I think is amazing. I do absolutely adore these. I've got a green bridesmaid dress. Is gold going to look too festive with that? Or is that going to be a cute look? Because I kind of love these slingbacks. These are gorgeous.
back home after what I must admit wasn't the most successful shopping trip. I feel like we're probably just slightly too early in the season for wedding shoes because most stores in terms of like summer shoes, wedding shoes, bridal shoes, they were all kind of in the sales. So it was very much from like last season, which we were talking about what do like spring brides do? Do you have to buy your shoes like literally a year in advance? Because they didn't really have much in, in terms of like bridal designs, which was a bit of a shame. But I feel like we're setting the groundwork first kind of shoe shop done and then we can try a few other places so if you have any good recommendations of like shoe shops to check out when it comes to like bridal shoes bridesmaid shoes i am all ears i did come away not empty-handed though i thought whilst i was in um Westkey, i would pop into rituals and they finally have something back in stock that i'm not joking when i say i think this has been out of stock for about 10 months uh, every time i've been into rituals i've literally asked the um, shop assistants about it and they've always been like we don't know when it's coming back in everyone's asking we miss it too and it is their rescue balm this lip balm i am not joking is the best lip balm in the world it just says it's the nourishing lip balm with shea butter and vitamin e um and oh my goodness me i love this so so much how do i open it <laughs> it slips out i love this so so much because i am someone that gets really really dry lips um and especially from like stressed or anything as soon as they start getting dry i'll like pick at it and i swear to god this is the only lip balm that actually stops it's really beautiful packaging as well it feels like really weighty which i quite like and i'm gonna put some over the top of the lip balm or the bobby brown lipstick that i'm wearing because oh, i just need a little bit of hydration you know when you've been like drinking we grabbed a coffee we've been walking around we've been talking and you just need a little something on your lips i love this it's also quite a nice one because i don't find it too thick i don't find it too like scented or flavored and because it doesn't have a color i can get alex to use this one as well i don't know what it is about guys but as soon as there's like a little bit of like a pinky hue to a lip balm they refuse they absolutely refuse so i picked that up and then they were also doing us like a bit of a members offer these home perfumes um so because we all picked up a couple of bits we qualified for the member product um so this is the two home perfumes in the shades shades scents the fragrances suede vanilla and sweet jasmine and i love a home perfume i love a home fragrance i personally like to use it like especially if you've got guests coming around just to give it like a quick spritz or let's say you've been cooking like a bit of a like a smelly dinner these are perfect i absolutely love them um so it just says it's a home perfume spray i'm gonna get them out i want to give them a bit of a try because i've never seen ones like this i kind of love this packaging the fact that they look like little um like cleaning products but they're not suede vanilla i think sounds absolutely amazing is this locked how do i unlock open open ah open right let's give this a quick little spritz Ooh, you guys that is a really lovely scent that is very like warming i feel like the vanilla is what makes it quite warm but the suede makes it feel it's like not it's not like your grandma's vanilla do you know what i mean it's like a really modern cool vanilla okay i need to spray this one i might spray this into my flowers actually this is something that i do often whenever it comes to um home fragrances i find that if you spray them into something like into a fabric a cushion a faux flower arrangement i feel like that's the best way to like get the scent to last so this one is sweet jasmine i like that but suede vanilla is definitely my favorite that's a lot fresher and more floral I'm just surrounded by beautiful scents now. This is so, so lovely. I love this. Mm, yeah, that is really, really nice. I think favourite is definitely Suave Vanilla. They also had these in the reed diffusers and the candles and stuff. So I may have to pick that up for a little reed diffuser around the house. But these are quite nice just to leave in like different rooms. Um, especially like in the bathroom or something like that. Um, for obvious reasons. Uh, just to make sure that your house always smells beautiful. Your home is always smelling amazing. So those work great to pick up. And I'm so excited. So excited that they finally have the lip balm back. I feel like that is like... That is a real win from today. Despite the fact that we didn't get any shoes, I still won because I got my lip balm. <laughs> Seeing as though we weren't overly successful with our shopping today, I, this afternoon, thought I would go through some of my shoes and just have a little think about what I want to be styling, what I want to be wearing with regards to especially wedding shoes. And I realised I've never actually done a sit down shoe collection video. Obviously I every single year do my updated bag collection and I feel like you're either one or the other. You're either a shoe girl or a bag girl. 
comment down below which one you are because I think it is to no one's surprise I'm a bad girl and always have been ever since I was a little girl I, I feel like I've told you this story so many times but my mum said whenever I was little I would always be like even if it literally just had in like a little lip gloss or something even if it was empty or had a teddy bear in it I would always be carrying around a little handbag with me I've just always loved my handbags and I love my designer bags shoes I love shoes but I feel like I'm just not like a shoe girl so I really don't have a big designer shoe collection so instead of doing like a full sit down video I thought I would do a bit of like an updated shoe collection in this video especially when it comes to like deciding what shoes I'm gonna be wearing so I'm gonna start with a pair of shoes that are I'm not gonna lie my pride and joy I do absolutely love these I picked them up last Christmas and they are my Manolo Blahniks I'm right by the window so that is coming up very bright but my Manolo Milo Balanix and I absolutely adore these. I don't think I actually ever told you the story when I bought these but they actually sent me the wrong ones and I feel like it really was a happy coincidence and one of those things I was not mad about because when I ordered these I actually ordered them in black so if you haven't seen these before if you're new around here oh <laughs> almost dropped them I'm definitely gonna have to wash my hands afterwards because I'm gonna be doing a lot of soul touching here but these are the most beautiful pair of like forest green velvet Manolo Blahniks I really love these because they're not like the classic ones I would love a pair of the classic ones with the beautiful brooch at the end um but these have the most beautiful kind of strap that goes over your foot and I find them so elongating they are just stunning and now when I actually ordered these and I can literally I could show you the far fetch receipt if you don't believe me I ordered black velvet and it still says on my Farfetch account that these should have been black velvet when I unbox them and open them they actually ended up being green but I was like you know what this is beautiful and it was Christmas at the time so I was like I feel like this is fate I now that I've got my Jimmy Choo bonbon I'm kind of like should I have got the black velvet but maybe that's just an excuse to buy another pair of Manolos maybe I need the classic pair with the brooch in the black velvet because these are very Christmassy and I definitely can't really wear them at any other time of year but if you had like a Christmas wedding to attend these are stunning one thing I would say people always tell me that Manolos are like the comfiest heels I don't find them the comfiest to wear. I find them bearable, but I don't find them comfortable. Um, so they are a pair that I do absolutely adore, but they're very much like a showpiece. But these are my pride and joy. I do love my Manolo Blahniks. A pair that I do actually find super comfortable. I have in this box here. They're not actually a pair of Jimmy Choo's, which by the way, can I just say, when I unbox this bag, I love you guys. I love how well you know me and how well you remember things. Because when I unbox this bag, I was talking about the fact that it's not a pair of shoes. It was a Jimmy Choo bag. And I don't own a pair of Jimmy Choo's. You corrected me in the comments. I do. I have my gorgeous little Jimmy Choo boots, which are downstairs, which I won't show you in this video. Um, but I do absolutely adore those. I'm going to just kind of like stick to heels in this video. Let me know if you would like a full sit down shoe collection um, video, because I do feel like I have a lot, but they're not necessarily like designer and they're not necessarily like the highest kind of like price point. But let me know if that's something you would like to see. But this is a pair of heels that I have to say are the comfiest heels I have ever, ever owned. I might actually have a look if they do these in any other colors because these would be great to wear as a bridesmaid because I think I've told you the story, but basically I wore these to the wedding that we went to up in Edinburgh just before Alex and I got engaged and it was a Kaylee. If you don't know a Kaylee, it's literally, it's kind of like Scottish line dancing basically. There's lots of like routines, so many spins, a lot of stomping as well. And I basically went to the wedding with my brother's girlfriend and we both had our shoes like you know when you bring your flats to a wedding we both had them in the bag we ended up going in separate cabs she thought I grabbed the bag I thought she grabbed the bag so when it came to the end of the night she was like hey can I have my flats please I was like you've got the flats she was like no you've got the flats so we both ended up having to last the entire wedding in our heels dance to a Kaylee and then obviously the disco until like stupid o'clock in the morning and I managed to survive in these shoes these are a pair of Gabor's and um, Gabor is one of those brands that I feel like is kind of stereotypically a bit of an older lady brand but they actually do some really stunning designs I loved this pair as well because the dress that I wore was like a really really difficult color to match and I really struggled in fact actually do I have the dress up there no I think it's in storage at the moment no it's in storage um but it was like this kind of like purpley pinky like it was a really in between color and i really like these because i wouldn't say they're warm tone but i wouldn't say they're cool tone they're just like a really beautiful kind of like suede neutral bisky color which is what i really like about them you'll notice with a lot of my shoes that they've got this kind of pointed toe because i do find as a shorter girl a pointed toe is almost so much more flattering 
Now I was talking about Rainbow Club in John Lewis. So if you don't know Rainbow Club, they are basically, in my opinion, kind of the number one brand when it comes to bridal shoes. I will leave the video down below where I unboxed loads of Rainbow Club shoes. And I basically kept two that I'm, I'm thinking I want to wear for my wedding, but I'm also now thinking it might be a good idea to wear these for G's wedding. I'm not entirely sure. These could be bridesmaids shoes. I do love the idea of a bridesmaid wearing white shoes and then you're kind of like a little bit matchy, but you're obviously not like too bridal. Now this is a pair that I just absolutely adore and definitely could wear for G's wedding. What's the name of these ones? These are the Jonies. They all have different names at Rainbow Club. And as I said, when I was in John Lewis, you can get them all personalized to whatever color. They literally have a full color spectrum and they just like dye them for you. Um, so you can order them in the white satin or you can order them in a color. I could actually order them in like a forest green color. I could give that a try um but i do absolutely do all these again they've got the pointed toe and i love the fact that they're just this really simple sling back i think they are just so elegant they're the kind of shoe that you can just keep in your wardrobe forever this is the epitome of an ageless design now i haven't worn them yet because i was thinking of saving them for my wedding but i'm also thinking maybe i should just get them out and wear them and start like using them start styling them one thing that rainbow club do and it's my favorite thing that they do is at the back at the bottom of your shoe there is a little blue sapphire there, a little blue gemstone for your something blue. How thoughtful is that? So they really are the perfect bridal shoes. So I'm thinking maybe I should just get these out and start wearing them because they are beautiful. And I think these could be perfect shoes to start with a, like a forest green dress for G's wedding. Um, I also have another pair from Rainbow Club that I absolutely adore. These are the Elise. And if you're someone who you don't like wearing heels, but you still want a beautiful pair of flattering flats, these are gorgeous. How stunning. Again, they're really similar to the Jonies, actually, in the sense that they have this kind of, like, almond pointed toe, but obviously they are completely flat. I love a slingback as well. I find a slingback very, very flattering and, like, just really elegant and timeless. So I love these as well. They also have a beautiful kind of strip of silver here. Can you see that, like, sparkle? Which I just think elevates them so, so much. They do so many different designs on Rainbow Club, whether it's, like, big heels, chunky heels, little kitten heels, flats. So I definitely recommend checking them out. So these might be my, like, evening shoes to wear in my bridesmaid maids dress but I do absolutely adore them as well. I feel like there is two styles that I just absolutely adore when it comes to heels and that is slingbacks or mules. And I just find mules so comfortable because obviously you've got nothing rubbing on the back of your foot. You've got nothing that's going to like blister or like mark or anything like that. So this is a gorgeous pair of mules that I have from River Island and this is the epitome of kind of my style is that I feel like as long as it like looks beautiful and looks expensive I'm never worried about whether it's actually designer. I've had so many compliments whenever I have worn these heels out they're a beautiful burgundy like dark red i absolutely adore them and they have this like croc print to them which i just think is absolutely stunning i also love the heel look at this like gold detailing to the heels so you see what i mean when i say they look so much more expensive than they actually are but they are a high street pair of heels so i do absolutely adore these as well i feel like i style them up a lot more in winter but they are just so beautiful you could definitely wear them with like a really beautiful i want to get an oxblood bag i feel like that's like a color that i'm really missing from my wardrobe because how stunning would that be together a beautiful maybe like white dress or a black dress oxblood bag oxblood shoes stunning pair of heels that i feel like definitely do not get the love that they deserve but are a beautiful pair of classic heels is this gorgeous pair from suzanne i love them they are a suede and they've got this beautiful again like an almond toe i think an almond is so so flattering if you don't want anything as like harsh as a full pointed toe but you want just a little bit of like shape to it and a little bit of elongation i love can you see this like cut out as well it really helps to elongate your foot and your ankle so i love these as well i feel like these are the kind that you can start to the office but you can also start for a wedding if you want to they are a proper dressed up dressed down kind of a shoe and then the last two i wanted to show you are two from a brand that i just absolutely adore that i feel like i need more in my collection when it comes to boots i have a lot of their boots when it comes to flats i have pretty much all of my ballet flats are from this brand and that is vivaya vivaya are a brand that actually makes shoes out of recycled plastic bottles which sounds really weird doesn't sound luxurious at all but their shoes are such high quality they are so comfortable and i've gotten so many compliments every time i wear them i'm not someone who copes well when shoes are uncomfortable if i get blisters i get so grumpy i might just take me home i do not want to be out anymore and I 
and I find that Vivaya do not give me blisters at all. So I've got two pairs here that I absolutely adore that are in my kind of like more evening wear, posh up wardrobe. This pair, which is literally the most Chanel looking pair I've ever, ever owned. They're in this beautiful like black tweed, which I really like with the gorgeous little cap toe. This is a rounded cap toe, which I don't find quite as flattering as a pointed cap toe, but I love it. Nonetheless, I feel like these are so beautiful again for like work wear, for dressing up or dressing down, but my favorite pair, my absolute favorite pair is this pair here now i did actually used to have it in a rounded toe but i ended up returning them or giving them to a friend because i'd gotten them in a four and the one thing i will say about these ones with a heel is to size down now vivaya do sizes and a half so these are actually 36.5 which is my exact size usually in heels i'll go for a three in flats i'll go for a four um but with these i feel like just going for your exact size the other ones that i used to have that i've gotten rid of were a four and they were just ever so slightly too loose three and a half fits perfectly and can you see that like padding underneath that's why they're so comfortable i feel like all heels need to have like padding for your foot just to make them as comfortable as possible i never understand girls that say to me like I can wear heels all day. Like I can walk around London in heels because I struggle so, so much in 99% of my heels, but these are just beautiful. As you can see, they've got that pointed toe, which is what I feel like really elevates them and makes them look so much more elegant. I absolutely adore these. Now, I don't know if these would be posh enough for a wedding, but you could definitely style these up for like evening attire. They go really well with trousers as well as dresses and skirts, which is what I absolutely love about them. And obviously they are completely timeless. This like design, the Chanel S design is so classic it is never gonna date never gonna go out of style so i absolutely adore those i have just had to pop the lights on behind me because we are losing light fast filming this little shoe collection segment of the video we are going well into the evening and i am here going i don't have a big shoe collection and this is literally only my heels and my kind of like evening shoes and like designer purchases which makes me realize maybe i do have a few more shoes in my collection that i really kind of warranted but one thing that i wanted to show you which isn't technically a shoe but is a part of my shoe collection and i feel like has changed the game for me is a little thing from rainbow club now i really want to see if they do a few more designs and a few more styles of this sorry i'm going so blue by the window here but that is exactly why i set up by the window because i wanted to make the most of the last of the daylight that we have but these are a gorgeous little pair of shoe brooches and oh my goodness me i feel like they have just changed the game for me because as you can so they're just a little pearl kind of square that's all they really look like and they have this little kind of popper at the back that you can unlock and then if I show you what they look like with the shoes you just add them to the shoe and look at the difference it makes it changes the style it changes the design and it literally makes them look like a different pair of shoes sorry the lighting is going mad because obviously I'm putting white by my face I'm bringing this up to the camera we're losing light it is going crazy at the moment but it just changes the shoes completely Completely, and I just think it's such a clever idea because it means you can be super selective with regards to your shoe collection and just change up the design with a shoe brooch. It's also a little bit friendlier to your bank account because so you don't have to keep adding new shoes into your wardrobe and you don't have to have a huge collection of heels. And I just think it's so, so clever. It actually goes with everything. Let me see what it looks like with these mules because I'm not sure if it would go, but you know what? I think that does go. I think that really, really works. Like, look at the difference it makes. I feel like it just elevates them. It makes them look so much more designer. Obviously, it looks a bit more like Manolo Blahnik kind of esque. I feel like you could also add these to like boots if you wanted to add something to the heel and kind of dress it up a little bit. I would love it if they could do something in a bit more of like an actual pin situation so that you could go like through the boot. Because especially with my Vivaya shoes, you can easily go through the material of that. That would be amazing. So I'm going to have a look online to see if they have any other styles or if there's any other brands that do something similar but those are the pearl ones and then I also have these ones here which as you can see I've not actually used yet but I feel like especially when it comes to hen do's when it comes to kind of bridal styling these are going to be game changers they're a really cute little pair of tufted bows tufted bows tool bows which I absolutely adore look how cute they are so again, you can add those to any shoes. It's literally just a little clip-on brooch and it changes the style and changes the design of them. I think it's so, so clever. So I love those as well. So I just wanted to show you that within the kind of shoe collection segment. But I think I can hear Alex downstairs. Yeah, I can. That means that Alex started on dinner, which is always 
the best sound in the world because it means I'm going to get fed to something really, really yummy. So seeing as they were losing the light and I feel like I've been filming a lot today. I think this might be one of those quite rare one day vlogs, which I feel like I've not done in a really long time. But it's always quite nice to get ahead of myself and to kind of just wrap things up quite nicely because it's been a bit of a themed video. Shoe shopping, wedding shopping. I'm really back in the wedding hype now after the wedding event I went to back in January. It was such a fun event and it's just reignited the spark when it comes to wedding planning. So I'm going to go and get myself into my comfies. We're going to have to do a robe. As I said this morning, we've got lots of different robes for lots of different occasions. The ones I was wearing this morning was very much like my get ready robe, my kind of morning robe in the evening. Even on a day like today when it's not too cold, it's actually quite mild outside. I just want to get super snuggly so a really thick cozy snuggly robe is on the cards for this evening and I also need to clean up this mess in front of me before I head down for dinner because I'm just surrounded by shoes now here I was saying that I do not have a big shoe collection and all we've done is my heels and I actually have quite a few in front of me so maybe I do have a few more shoes than I actually realized maybe I do need to do like a full collection video of all of the shoes that I have in my wardrobe but I'm gonna go clean up this mess get into my comfies and get myself fed. <laughs> Is there anything more attractive than this view? I'm your man in the kitchen, cooking up something delicious, ready for tonight. I'm just sitting in my little nook working away. So Alex is cooking away in the kitchen. I also feel like there's nothing better than a little bowl full of veggies. We're doing chicken um, paninis tonight. We picked up these paninis um, the other day. And I'm so excited. These are really nice ones from m because they're quite soft. Um, the little melted cheese, a bit of paprika, some spices. Oh, he is cooking up a storm. Oh my goodness me, how good is that looking? I wish smell vision was a thing right now because it smells delicious. You know it's true love when you get a double helping of cheese. Alex has only given himself one little slice of cheese on his but I am a cheese feast. Cheese feast? Cheese fiend. What are we going on now? Yeah. Would you like oh any sauce gosh. or No I'm good. Just the cheese and the chicken is perfect thank you. Oh that is looking good. Oh, I knew there was a reason I was marrying you. <laughs> This, this is the reason right here. Oh, we are really going to enjoy this this evening. Mm -mm -mm. I must say, even though it's like a messy panini, I feel like that is like the purpose of it. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 for presentation. I mean, look at how good that looks. I am in heaven right now.